We want to start with the weather. We're going to take a live look at Fort Collins right now. We saw a wave of snow, snow move in in the last hour. Visibility has gotten a little bit better, but parts of northern Colorado have had near whiteout conditions in the mountain areas. And we are far from alone. 65 million people across 29 states are in the path of this winter storm. Here's a look from northern Iowa right now. That looks cold. Uh, this three day weather event is bringing snow, ice and extreme cold from California to Maine. Of course, another way we keep score is air travel. According to FlightAware, hundreds of flights across the United States had to be canceled this morning and airlines delayed more than 600 flights out of DIA with another 265 there being canceled. There are also significant problems with the heavy weather up north in Minneapolis, Chicago and Detroit. And as you take a live look at the Loveland ski area up by the Eisenhower Tunnel, you can see visibility is adding to the problems right there, not to mention the snow, the ice and the cold. Mm -hmm. Check out this video from the Wolf Creek ski area earlier today when a snow squall hit. They actually had to close today because of hurricane level wind. This is the first time since 2015 there's been a blizzard warning for Wolf Creek. We're going to hear more about their conditions coming up. And we want to check in on our traffic situation. A lot of people heading home now. We have Greg Perez in the studio this afternoon. He's going to have a live traffic update. First, though, we got to check in with Kathy. When's this thing gone? <laughs> Not soon enough for you. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, not soon enough. I know. Now, remember you guys yesterday we talked about this wouldn't be a huge snow event, right. but certainly the cold would be a factor and the potential for that flash freeze condition, which we saw this morning when the Arctic front came through. And then you probably thought what we got an inch and we're done. And now comes the second wave of snow just in time for the evening drive. Let's go out. We're looking at light snow in the city. That's right. We've got about an inch and a half on the ground here, two to four in areas like Fort Collins, heavy or snow up in the high country with wind making for really difficult travel. We are four degrees above zero in Denver. It's been a bitter cold day. The Arctic cold pushing all the way down into New Mexico and Oklahoma. Wind chill values below zero, but our Fahrenheit forecast low temperatures will be below zero. Another wave of snow coming up from the southwest. The heaviest snows fallen in the high country and southwestern mountains where the wind has created blizzard and whiteout conditions. This latest band is tracking northeast and will be moving through quickly. But look at the winter weather and travel advisories, not just in Colorado, but all of the surrounding states. Denver remains under a winter weather advisory, but concerns for blizzard conditions down in Conejos, Mineral and Rio Grande counties. We're going to go under a wind chill advisory at 8 o'clock tonight right here in Denver when the winter weather advisory cancels out in the high country. We're measuring the snow in feet. Those areas in red are winter storm warnings. It's going to be amazing skiing and snowboarding by the time you hit the weekend. But tonight it's all about the cold. The snow ends, the cold settles in. Wind chill advisory for wind chills to 20 below. Please remember the pets. Make sure they have adequate water and shelter and remember yourselves and exposed skin in conditions like this. Snow showers moving through and then they move out. A couple lingering until late this evening and then we're done. We will see the snow end and we're just not going to have a sunny day tomorrow, but it's going to be a whole lot warmer than the numbers that we've shown you for today. Details on the extended forecast coming up. Somehow I knew it would be warmer. Anything's <laughs> warmer than four. Yeah, <laughs> I had a hunch we only had one way to go. All right, right. Kathy, exactly. we'll get right back to you in just a couple minutes for Sounds more good. on our uh, our future forecast. Yes. And we want to check in with Greg Perez. We're talking about the road conditions. They were tough this morning, but more's coming. Yeah, Greg, let's talk about the afternoon commute just getting underway for those who did go in this morning. Yeah, we're not necessarily dealing with a whole lot of accidents, Tom and Kim, but we are dealing with a whole lot of slowdowns as per usual when a scenario like this hits. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. A whole lot of red just the south of Denver as we're dealing with a massive slowdown northbound I-25 approaching Denver. This is South Platte River Drive right here, so you can see right where it is. And of course, 7th Street is right there as well. Pushing up towards the north and west and going counterclockwise around the city around 60 miles per hour in 20 minutes if you're headed towards Boulder. We do have a very, very big slowdown on westbound I-270 near East 56th Avenue. And of course, just to the south and east, southbound I-225, I-70 to I-25 
We're talking anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes and up to 40 miles per hour of driving time. Of course, down towards the south as you're getting towards I-25, things are a little bit better towards the north, towards I-70, a little bit more congested. Downtown the DTC, we're looking anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes. DTC to downtown, a little bit more so, up to 30 minutes and 33 miles per hour. So guys, of course, things are improving, but still very, very slow. And the good news, as I said, is we're not dealing with a whole lot of accidents. Hope that stays that and, way. And if your heater's working, just sit in the car, stay Maybe warm. Maybe listen to a podcast, right? Yeah, who knows? Seat warmers. <laughs> it's all good. Time. All right. We'll check back with you. Thank you, Greg. Of course.